Since you saw in December, a little bit of everything has changed. The extruder got a complete overhaul. There was a lot of things that we saw in our first design that we were like, man, we could really do a lot better here. There was some parts that just didn't seem to last like we wanted them to, so we took a step back, evaluated it, and the only thing that are left are the barrel screw and the heaters. Almost everything else kind of got a little bit of a change, and we made sure that the unit was running a lot better than it was before. So from the original hopper, we realized the screw was printing way faster than we thought it was. It was pushing a lot more material than we expected. So what we realized is our hopper needed to have more space. We were also having some issues with the fact we 3D printed the entire thing. What ended up happening though was it was just kind of wearing down, tearing apart. There were so many forces happening inside the actual body of the hopper that it was just not surviving like we wanted it to. We wanted to make it better, easier to access, easier to clean. We wanted it to survive way, way longer. We wanted it to be an easy experience, so we knew we had to redesign that. We knew kind of the materials we wanted to use. There was a lot of design trials before we landed on one that we were happy with. We took that and we just had it manufactured in-house and were able to quickly test it and validate that it worked. The original bot actually took a trip to Michigan. It's at Michigan Tech right now. And we have a couple of students who have been working on validation of materials. They were able to sit down and test PLA, PET, polypropylene, and ABS and validate those materials for us and find out the best settings we could get. They developed slicer profiles for us. When we got the profiles back, it works great on the new bot and we're able to get a lot better quality of prints. And it's a lot easier to use than it was in the past. So we're able to give those to the user immediately. This is kind of new territory. It was a little bit of guess and check when we were developing the firmware. And so it was good to have someone else take a look at it and validate it. So in the next three to six months, we're just trying to get the first prototypes ready. We've been working really, really hard on the new design. We really think that the backers are gonna like it. We think the beta testers are gonna absolutely love the new design. We're going to continue working on some of the external parts. If this is going to be used by the general user, it needs to have all these features that are expected of a normal 3D printer and just integrate it so it acts like a normal 3D printer. I'm really looking forward to see what people make with it. It's really cool to see when a customer is like, oh my gosh, I have a use case for this. This is perfect. We're 3D printer designers. You know, most of the time when I'm thinking about 3D printing, I'm like, oh, what could I print for my 3D printers? It's really cool to see when people start figuring out how to use our printers to make cool objects that we haven't thought of before.